93rd Mechanized Brigade is one of Ukraine's oldest and largest military units. It was heavily involved in the defense of the city of Kharkiv in the east and the Battle of Izium to the south. After pushing back Russian troops in the area, some of these soldiers are being redeployed to new hotspots. We were transferred here because the 93rd Brigade has a lot of experience and a lot of specialists who can defend these areas, repel the enemy and push them back. Now we need to align the front line and then go to liberate the Donetsk and Luhansk regions. With these fresh forces, the Ukrainians have built extensive and new defensive positions aimed at repelling and more importantly, identifying Russian positions. Drones in modern warfare are eyes, and I really hope that we'll have much more of these eyes. We are engaged in reconnaissance and working the air against the enemy. In addition to reconnaissance, this unit is also going on the offensive, launching multiple attacks on Russian military positions that only in the past few days have made fresh offensive against the controlled Ukrainian towns nearby. A specific unit that deals with drone and drone attacks against the Russians is now taking the fight very much to the Russians. However, as here in the neighboring town of Kostantinikov, where we are, you can see the damage behind me is still extensive and Russian missiles are still striking here daily. And these air attacks are putting a significant strain on the residents who have decided to remain. The situation in the city is very disturbing. We have missile attacks almost every day. Today at 5 a.m., a missile hit the school area, and so constantly. About a month ago, a shell hit the pumping station, and we were without water for about a month. Then it was hit again. Now again, there has been no water for a week. With no end in sight to the conflict in Ukraine, it seems the hardship civilians are facing here is only likely to continue. Owen Holdaway reporting for CGTN in the Donetsk, Ukraine.